Hello, in this video we're going to examine how to work on MATLAB assignment number one. From Blackboard, click on MATLAB assignments, scroll down to where it says click here to start MATLAB one. The first task is to install MATLAB on your computer or to go to the Vodi computer labs where you can use MATLAB on those computers. Next, you want to open up MATLAB, type 1 plus 1, and hit enter. This diagram gives you a few uh, descriptors of the different windows you'll see in MATLAB. So let's take a look at MATLAB. When you open it, you will see the command window here. You can type in commands like 1 plus 1, hit enter. You can also type in things like the square root of 16 and hit enter. Um, and so MATLAB will do a lot of computation for you. You can also save variables, like you could say x equals 7, y equals 3, and you could ask MATLAB to add x plus y. We'll be learning a lot more about computations MATLAB can do, but this is just a very basic introduction. In the lower left hand corner there's a workspace and you can see some of the variables and their values that MATLAB currently has loaded. At the very top of the screen you can see the directory we're working in um, and that will be important in a few moments. To clear this screen you can type CLC that clears the command window but it still keeps my variables stored. If you want to clear the variables you can type clear all. Okay let's go back to the lab. In question three um, you will be working with functions and ultimately plotting some vectors in MATLAB. So let's first of all talk about functions or scripts in MATLAB. Let's save this hello.m file, it's just like a little program or a script. We're going to save that to a folder called math122c. So I'm going to right click on this file, save as. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to create a new folder called math122c. And I'm going to save my file there and the type I want to save it as all files. Okay, let's go back to MATLAB. Now if I type the command hello, nothing will happen. Okay, and the reason is is that I'm not in my math122c folder. We need to get to that folder so that MATLAB knows what program I'm talking about. So I'm going to scoot up a few levels here to get to my computer's name and then I'll go to desktop and I'll scroll down here till I find 122C there it is and I'm going to double click on that. So now at the very top you can see uh, the directory that we are in brings us to this folder 122C. Okay, so let's clear our command window. I'll type hello and it worked. So that's good. We know what we're doing in terms of saving scripts and functions in the correct folder. So now let's save the file plot vectors 2D. I'm going to save as and again I'm going to save that in the 122 math 122C folder. Make sure I save it as all files. And in the command window of MATLAB, we want to type in the following command and hit enter. So we're going to do plot vectors 2D, 2 space 10. Notice the square brackets and the parentheses. Let's just double check. We have everything correct. We do. Hit enter. And it appears that nothing's happening. In the lower left hand corner of the screen there's a busy uh, busy icon that shows up and eventually uh, MATLAB produces this figure. So here's our vector over 2 up 10 and uh, we can do lots of things with this figure. For example we could insert a title you could 
put your name there, for example. Um, you could also edit the figure properties. Uh, if you click right on this arrow here, we could make it maybe a heavier weight line. Uh, we could maybe add color to it and those sorts of things. Okay, and there's a lot you can do in here. You can edit your axes uh, and all sorts of things. What else can you do? You can also save. So we could save this figure. Um, I don't know, my favorite figure. And you don't want to save this. You could save it as a figure file, and that will allow you to edit it in the future. For our homework, we want to save it as a JPEG file and then you can embed that file into Word documents, PowerPoints, LaTeX documents, um, or whatever else you would do with your image.